Good evening, Mech Warrior fans. So, today is the Destroy the Dropship mission. I think it's mission 11. Um, we're going to be taking Casey in the Bushwhacker. Jen McQuarrie's going to be in the Catapult. I'm going to be running the Uzi, although I think I have to take a look in the Mech Lab real quick. And strip some weight to put a artillery beacon, which I think counts as a missile weapon. Yes, it does. It's five tons. So we'll drop two medium lasers and the jump jets. Two shots. All right. Hopefully, I won't accidentally fire it. All right, here we go. Control, we're on the perimeter. Roger, Omega lead. We have Foxtrot 09 moving into position for recon. Artillery is standing by. Dropship location is to the northeast. We don't know repair status on the dropship, so just like on the moon, try to take it out before they can power up. All groups report. Artillery is locked and loaded. Give us a target and we're ready to fire. Over. Rescue, recovery, standing by at four clicks. Over. Salvage, standing by. Over. This is Foxtrot 09er. We've sighted the dropship. Just follow the big skid marks in. They have multiple crews working on the bird. Looks pretty close to airworthy. We have a mixed lance of medium and light mechs providing cover. Various other arm units moving around down here too. No sign they know we're here. Over. Okay team, let's take out that dropship. If Steiner was wondering where we might hit next, I guess they'll know shortly. Sensors online. Weapons systems online. All functioning systems nominal. doing this mission in the daytime. I think I, I usually end up doing it at night. And I take jewels. So, me and my non-existent audience, or barely existent audience, are in for a treat. Attack my target. Copy that. Roger. Control, we just got hit with an active sensor. They know we're here. We gotta do this quick before they get that dropship powered up. Omega, I'm picking up some EM interference. Target they must destroyed. be powering up the dropship system. Be careful. Scratch that target. Target's destroyed. If I remember correctly, there's a whole bunch of tanks and a mauler. Because they didn't give me a nav position for the... Even though my spotters say that they can see the... Enemy detected. Target destroyed.
Attack my target. Roger. Uh, Roger. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Warning. Damage critical. Target destroyed. Solid operation, Commander. Here's the tactical upload on our next op. The Hodger Peninsula was home to many of your family's military facilities. When Steiner attacked, they seized them to use as staging bases. Many of your father's troops evaded capture and, with Peter's help, formed the core of a guerrilla force. They've reclaimed several abandoned fire bases and are using them to stage their operations. But they'll need our help. We'll weaken the local defenses and help the resistance liberate needed equipment and ultimately personnel. Personnel? We know that Steiner shipped many of your father's elite troops to a prison camp somewhere in the region. If we can find the camp and liberate the prisoners, they could provide the manpower and the expertise the resistance needs to carry the fight to the rest of Cantaris. Our first mission will be to raid a major Steiner supply base. Resistance forces will arrange distraction so we can storm the base and liberate supplies. The base is well defended, but there's a lot of equipment there that we and the Resistance need. The mission's a hot drop. We don't want to risk losing surprise. I'll get us set up. And I'll start my search for that prison camp. The Resistance lives. Despite Steiner boasts, Resistance forces still loyal to the memory of Duke Eric have won small victories in several Kentari cities and scored a major success in the Olympian reaches. There, resistance forces overcame Steiner patrols and destroyed a military dropship, severely weakening the Steiner occupation. There are reports that members of Duke Eric's family have survived and are leading the attacks that are tearing down Lord Roland's wall of lies. He will not be able to hide behind it much longer. Listen and spread the word. Uh, that looks like the end of the, uh, the role-playing. So this mission, or the next one, where you uh, free the prison camp, you get another mech warrior. It's another female, and she's, well, she's better than Chad. Um, <clears throat> and less annoying, too. Anyway, let's take a quick look in the mech lab at the mauler. So, he looks beefy. Um, not the way I would set it up. And I don't know why two medium lasers fit in these these big honking cannons, but um, 
Yeah, he's... He's dangerous to fight, because the <clears throat> Ultra AC2s just kind of hammer away and hammer away and hammer away. Uh, armor is craptacular. But it's also reactive. This mech is kind of all over the place. I guess it could just be a lot of different things. The Beagle Actor Probe, you could make it a missile mech. I don't really know why you'd want to. So what I'll, I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably end up putting big honking auto cannons here and large lasers here, and maybe missiles as backup weapons for a, a little bit of damage amplification. Some two clan gauss rifles would be really nice right about now, but we don't have that luxury as far as I can tell. Unless I pull one on the bushwhacker, but I don't think I did. Anyway. We'll save it for now, and I'll show you what I did with it in the next episode. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that rather brief mission. Uh, have a good night.